Hello again on my channel. Um, today I'd like to tell you about uh, totals I'm going to get. Um, I s well don't know what to start with. Um, I'm going to get three um, uh, common mass turtle. They called um, stink pot as well. And uh, I'd like to tell you more about uh, their species. Um, as we know, its uh, um, species is um, native to uh, southeastern Canada and much of the eastern United States. Uh, it's also known commonly as the common musk turtle, eastern musk turtle, and um, stink pot as well. Uh, due to its ability to release a um, foul musky odor uh, from scent glands on the uh, edge of its shell. Um, possibly to depredation. Uh, this turtle is grouped in the same family as mud turtles, uh, so uh, we can find them usually on the bottom of the uh, fish tank, looking for food. Uh, well, the stink pot is a small black, grey, um, or brown with a highly uh, domed shell. It grows to a straight um, carapace length of uh, approximately um, three to four inches, I'd say, and average weight is uh, about 600 gram, which is 1.3 uh, pound. Uh, it has a long neck and rather short legs. Um, um, the yellow lines on the neck are a good field marker and um, often can be seen from above in swimming turtles. Uh, males can usually be distinguished by uh, females uh, by their significantly longer tails um, and by the spike that um, protrudes um, at the end of the tail. Um, the anal vent on the um, underside of the tail extends out beyond the plastron um, on males. Um, females are also typically larger than males. Um, the head is uh, vaguely uh, trigonal in shape. Uh, with a pointed uh, snout and sharp beak. Um, yellow green striping from the tip of the nose to the neck. Uh, barbels are present uh, on the chin and the throat. Um, the plaster is relatively small, um, offering little protection um, uh, from the legs uh, and has only uh, one transverse um, anterior hinge. Uh, algae often grow on their carapaces. Uh, their tiny tongues are covered in uh, bud-like uh, papillae that allow them to um, respire underwater. Um, that's quite important. Um, about the behavior now. Uh, the eastern uh, mass turtles um, they are almost entirely aquatic, spending the vast majority of its time in shallow um, the heavily vegetated uh, waters of snow, um, slow moving creeks uh, or in ponds as well. Uh, it typically only ventures into land when the female la um, lays eggs uh, or in some cases to bask, very rarely. Um, it can come slopping uh, partially submerged tree trunks or branches uh, to a high as even two meters um, above the water surface and has been uh, known to drop into boats or uh, canoes passing underneath. <laughs> uh, it is a poor swimmer and can most often be found walking along the bottom of its uh, native habitats, which include swamps, marshes, uh, emperors, pools, um, and large rivers and lakes. Um, its defense uh, mechanism is to um, um, excrete a musk scent uh, from a small gland in its underside, uh, hence the name musk turtle. Uh, this is used to uh, scare away predators and natural enemies. Um, about the diet now. Uh, well, the stink pot is carnivorous, uh, consuming a wide variety of aquatic um, uh, invertebrates, including uh, crayfish, uh, freshwater clams, uh, snails, um, aquatic uh, larvae, uh, tadpoles, and various insects. Um, it will also eat fish uh, and carrion, 
um, a hatchling's diet is much more carnivorous than uh, an adult's and uh, may slowly acquire a taste of uh, aquatic plants which we um, fish tank keepers don't like much um, as uh, as a turtle matures obviously um, a wild uh, common mass turtle often will not hesitate to bite um, if harassed uh, because um, its neck can extend as far as its uh, hind feet um, um, caution is required when uh, you know handling one um, well the habitat um, um, Stink pots, uh, a stink pot turtle is um, is found in variety of uh, wetland habitats and uh, littoral zones, particularly shallow um, water color is, um with a slow current and muddy bottom. Uh, all through, it's more aquatic than some turtles. It, um, it's also capable of climbing and uh, may be seen basking in fallen trees and woody depths. Um, fallen trees, of course, uh, woody debris are known uh, to be important component um, of wetland habitat and may be uh, particularly beneficial to basking turtles. Like all turtles, um, the stink pot uh, must um, uh, nest on land as well and uh, shoreline uh, real estate development is terminal. Um, well, um, Stink pot is also commonly uh, found on um, rounds uh, during the nesting season, uh, uh, having fallen victim to road um, mortality, particularly after heavy uh, rainfalls. Uh, and uh, hibernates uh, buried in the mud under logs or, or in uh, muskrat lodges. Um, it's reproduction. Uh, breeding um, of the eastern mass turtle occurs in the spring and uh, females lay um, usually between two or um, two and nine um, elliptical hard-shelled eggs in a shallow burrow um, or under um, shoreline debris. Unusual behavior is the tendency to share nesting sites. Uh, in one case um, they were 16 nests under a single lot. Uh, well, the eggs hatch in the late summer um, or early fall um, after an uh, incubation period of 100 or 150 days, uh, making this a species that displays delayed emergency. Um, egg, um, egg predation is a major cause um, of mortality, um, as of many turtle species. Um, as we know, uh, in one Pennsylvania population, hatchling succeed uh, success was only fifteen uh, percent, um, and predators alone destroyed twenty five to uh, of twenty five of uh, thirty two hatchlings. Well, nests. Um, hatchlings um, are usually less than one inch long, and have a, a very uh, rigid shell, um, which will become less pronounced as they age and will eventually be completely smoothed and uh, doomed. Um, its lifespan, uh, as with most turtles, is quite long, with a specimen in um, captivity being recorded at uh, 50 plus years of age. Uh, so it's quite long, consider that by one. Um, <clears throat> about uh, conservation status. Uh, uh, the common musk turtle holds on uh, federal conservation status in the USA and is quite commonly um, common thought uh, most um, out of its range. It has declined notably in some areas and appears uh, to be more sensitive than some native species uh, to human degradation of wetlands. Uh, it is listed as a, a threatened species in the state of Iowa and is listed as a species at risk in Canada um, and is protected by uh, uh, the Federal Species at Risk Act, um, it's SARA, uh, some of you might know it. Um, it's also protected under um, 
Ontario Engaged Species Act um, in this part of its range, only wetlands with minimal human impact um, were robust populations. Uh, road mortality of breeding females um, may be one of the problems associated with human development. Um, well, in, in captivity, uh, due to its small size, the common mass turtle generally makes a better choice for a pet turtle than other commonly available species, such as the red um, eared slider. Uh, throughout its range, uh, wild caught uh, specimen are commonly available in the US, uh, but the species is also frequently a uh, captive uh, bred, um, especially for the pet trade. Um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, varied diet is essential uh, to a captive turtle health and it's important to know that it should uh, not be fed uh, with um, turtle pellets only a captive turtle being fed a high protein diet might develop uh, vitamin A and E uh, deficiencies uh, supplemental um, supplemental calcium um, in the form of commercial powders uh, or a uh, um, cattle bone uh, is also also a must. Aquatic plants um, like um, water lettuce, duckweed, etc., uh, can also be provided as uh, some mass turtles prefer more vegetables in their diet than others. Uh, um, to, uh, less sensitive uh, to limited uh, um, access to UV light, common mask uh, turtles require ultraviolet UVA and UV, UV, uh, UVB um, lighting as most other turtle species for, um, for proper captive care. As a bottom uh, dweller, um, the common mask turtle is rarely seen basking but a basket area should still be provided. Um, so, uh, from my point of view, oh, so I didn't sleep much last night. Um, um, from my point of view, um, common mask turtle um, is the species you should go for if you wanna uh, have a turtle at home. Um, as you can see, I've got 300 liter. Um, tank behind me which is uh, actually ready now for uh, free stink pot turtles I'm going to get in two three months time um, might be more probably won't be less um, it's fairly liter so it's capable of four maybe even five of them but I I don't really want to uh, get too many I, I'd like to uh, keep them in a uh, uh, I rather have them to enjoy their uh, their company um, of free uh, than have too many of them and y y you know uh, it's not good to have too many um, specimens in a in a tank. Um, that's all for today. Um, hope to see you soon.